Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the detailed layout designing in LTM Designer. And for that layout designing, we'll use 5 volt 5 ampere power supply circuit. And uh, we'll also discuss how to use a Saturn PCB calculator as a conductor thickness calculator. And uh, we'll also discuss about the through hole VRs and uh, how to apply a PCB design rule in a schematic design. So let's start. So just go to the LTM designer. So here this is the circuit uh, that we are going to design uh, layout designing. So I have uh, put a link in the descri description of 5 volt 5 ampere power supply. So like if you want to uh, like uh, practice over this particular circuit, then you can download uh, this particular circuit from those link. Okay. So yeah. So firstly, what we'll do, we'll just apply uh, a PCB design rule in the schematic design. So, but before that, we need to calculate the thickness for five volt fi for five ampere uh, current rating, right? So, just go to the uh, Saturn PCB design uh, calculator. So, I put the link in the description for that calculator. You can go to that particular link and download this software. So, here uh, we need to fill five things. The first one is solve for. So suppose we need to calculate the conductor width, right? So that is, we need to calculate the conductor width. So suppose uh, in case uh, we need to calculate the ampere of the current, then we'll tick here, right? So in our case, we need to calculate the conductor width. The next thing we need to fill is the, the maximum length of the conductor. So in my case, it is two centimeter, right? And what is the maximum current? So we are going to design a five volt, five ampere circuit. So maximum current is the five ampere. We need to also select the base copper weight and plating thickness. So plating thickness will uh, the manufacturer will apply at the um, uh, for uh, plating at the surface of the copper plate as well as in the vias, right? So in my case, the plating thickness is 70 micro mm, and base copper is the like uh, initially the thickness of the copper uh, in the co in the PCB designing plate, right? So the manufacturer will use the thickness. Uh, so in my case, it is also 70 micro mm. Next thing we need to select the temperature rise and the ambient temperature. So ambient temperature is 22. It is by default and we need to fill the temperature uh, in rise. So in my case, it is up to 40 uh, degrees Celsius toler tolerable up to 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. So these things we need to fill and after that we need to click on the solve button. So it will give the conductor width. It is 0.94 mm. If we, if we convert this uh, 0.94 mm into mils, so it, it is 35 mils, right? So in my case, the thickness of uh, the uh, 5 ampere uh, lines are 35 mils, right? So this is how we calculate the thickness of the uh, conductor width uh, by using the current rating, okay? So now we'll apply design rule. For design rule, what you need to do, you need to just go to the place, go to the directive, and there is an option, which is the PCB layout. Just click on that. So we need to uh, for, uh, we need to put that PCB rule over three uh, nets. The first one is the ground. Second one is the V in, and the third one is the V out. Just double click over PCB rule. There is an option which is edit. After edit, we need to edit the values of the rules, right? And we need to edit the value of the width. So just go to the width. In our case, it is 35 mils. Just put 35 here. Okay. Yeah. So we, we need to do the same thing for this uh, ground net edit, edit rule, width, it is 35, okay, edit, edit rules, width, 35. So what is the purpose of uh, like these design rules are like when we go going to place the uh, track in the at the time of layout designing. So it will automatically uh, set the width of that particular track is 35 mils. Okay. So that's why we put here. 
so it will become very easy at that time of layout designing so now we have put uh, a pcb rule now just uh, save this particular schematic file go to the pcb doc file so here we need to import all the component from the schematic file just go to the design import changes here we need to do uh, one thing just remove the room validate changes execute changes yeah and close so here all the components are available now what we need to do we need to just place that component over this board So just do the placement randomly, and we will adjust the placement at the time of layout, layout, uh, layout designing. Okay. So we are going to design a double layer PCB. So we can place component at both side of the board. But initially, we'll place uh, at the top layer. Then we'll adjust accordingly, right? Okay, so we have placed all the component here. Now we'll go for layout designing. So for layout designing, just select the top layer first. So the default value of uh, the thickness of the wire is uh, uh, 10 mils, but in case of ground, V in and V out, it will be 35 mils. Okay. Like you can see, it, it will automatically detect the 35 mils of the ground, like this, right? This is also ground. This is the V out. And uh, this is also V out. This is V in, sorry. This is ground.
yeah so here we have placed uh, most all the wires okay so there there are few uh, cross connection so for that like we can use uh, vrs right okay so for vr like uh, i have put the dimension already so in that case uh, the current rating is 5 ampere so for that we need to put the through hole via here for through hole via the inner dimension of the via is uh, the inner hole dimension is 0.2 mm and external dimension is the 0.45 mm right so just place a via by tab we can go to the setting of the via and uh, the hole size is 0.2 mm and the outer dimension is 0.45 mm okay so we need to place a via here and uh, we need to place another via here and uh, just like this okay sorry uh, just there are few connect corrections are there so firstly what we will do we will just place a wire here like this a wire at this side a wire here and uh, we'll place also a wire this side okay and wire here just now just place the via over these wires now just change the layer yeah so here we have made all the connections successfully yeah just uh, one connection remains here so for that we'll also use via just go to the top layer first place a layer a uh, route here here also and just place a via on both side of the wire now change the layer to the bottom layer okay so we have completed all the connections just uh, let's check uh, one more time so we have placed uh, yeah so all the connections are completed now what we'll do we'll just going to place a polygon polygon 4 just uh, select the polygon 4 here so it is for uh, uh, like uh, firstly we will going to polygon port for top layer in the top layer we will going to um, place polygon port for uh, wheel wheel okay by space we can change the uh, shape of that particular uh, polygon port okay like you can see in the curve like this right this cover all, all the board but in my case the size of the board is uh, too big 
so you can adjust also the size i have told in previous video right yeah so you have successfully placed the polygon four at the top side of the board now you'll go for the bottom side uh, just go to the place polygon four it is for ground ground like just click whatever the shape you want so you can also uh, like go for a particular size of the board right suppose you don't want to uh, design that particular polygon four for whole board right so you can go for particular space so we have uh, designed just save this particular pcb doc file now press three button on your number pad yeah so this is the 3d board 3d model of board that we have designed right by shift and right key we can rotate that particular board so this is the like bottom layer right bottom connection and these are the dock wheels okay thank you so much